Okay, so uh, part two of exponent tricks. Really quickly, just reviewing the first exponent tricks video. You had three of them I showed you. Uh, one is when you have, again, first off, all of them, all the tricks only work if the pieces are the same. Five, 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 five. So uh, for this one, when you're multiplying exponents with the same base, the trick is you don't have to do any fancy math. You just add these two together. So it gets 5 to the power 7 plus 4, 11. When you're dividing bases that are the same, what you do with the exponents is you subtract them. So 7 minus 4 is 3, so 5 to the power 3. I think I mentioned to you, it's easier to remember, the multiplying looks like a plus sign, and the divided by it is a big fat minus sign, so easy to remember. This is the power to a power superpower and that's when you multiply so this would be 5 to the power 28 all right now there's a new one trick number four it's not really a trick actually um, two-thirds squared a fraction before you before you start screaming and, and crying about the the fact that you have a fraction here um, it's not that hard actually what you do is this squared thing, or the exponent, gets delivered to each of the numbers inside the brackets. Or it's distributed inside each number in the brackets there. So, you could rewrite this as, this is 2 to the power 2 on top, and the denominator is 3 to the power 2. Well, what is 2 to the power 2? Don't make me write it out. It's 2 times 2, which is 4. And then 3 times 2... Sorry, not 3 times 2. My bad. 3 times 3, which is 9. I almost did the thing that I hate students doing. It's This, it, this is 2 times 2 because... Yeah, there's two 2's there. And 3 times 3 because that 2 there. Yeah. Anyways. And the answer is 4 ninths. So that's a trick. It's, I don't know, it's not much of a trick, but that's that's how you handle exponents for fractions. Um, if you don't like that way, here's another way. If you love fractions, you can think of it as two thirds times itself. Two thirds. What's two thirds times two thirds? Four over nine. Same thing. What about this one? Three fourths, all squared. Um, Again, to that square, everything inside the bracket is being squared. So 3 is being squared, 3 squared is 9. 4 is being squared, which is 16, 9 sixteenths. Done. Finished. Same thing works for cubes, or to the power of 3, or any, any power, to the power of 90, to the power of 116, any, any power, it'll work. So 2 to the power of 3, which you should know is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 3 to the power 3, 3 times 3 times 3, 27. Done. So that's trick number 4 with exponents. So now you know the four exponent tricks. Now, this looks... what well, I guess we kind of combine variables, which you see in algebra, with these tricks. And it's the same thing. It's just there's letters there instead of numbers. Right? Like I mean, in all these questions above here. It didn't matter what, about the 5. It was just the exponents you had to worry about. So when the bases are variables, it's the same thing. You just do the same tricks. x to the x cubed times, remember the dot means times, x to the power 4, same base. It's multiplying. You when you, The rule is when you're multiplying, you add the exponents. So 3 plus 4, 7. How about this? m to the power 8, m to the power 5. Well, what are these m's doing to each other? If there's nothing in between, it's a multiply. It's the same thing as this. So, multiplying at the exponents 8 plus 5, 13. This is m to the power 13. Easy. Not hard at all. Here, dividing. The old school, elementary school way of showing divided. Remember, dividing when same base, what you do is you subtract the exponents. So 7 minus 3 is 4. You get x to the power 4. Here's the high school way of showing divided by. Same thing as this. I just wrote it differently. 
g to the power 10 divided by g to the power 3. You subtract these two, you get g to the power 7. A power to a power, that's multiplying, so that's a to the power 15. Same thing here, we're multiplying, oh my god, there's a negative sign. So what? There's a negative sign. 4 times negative 2. That's n to the power negative 8. 4 times negative 2. Now, little thing that I think you saw in a video earlier, but when you have a negative exponent, and I'll keep coming back to this over and over again during the year, um, when you have a negative exponent, there's a way that you can write it to get rid of the negative exponent, and that is by writing this by making this the, uh, its own reciprocal, flipping it. What is the reciprocal of n to the power negative 8? You just flip it. You put it under 1. 1 over n to the power 8. Okay, some of you might be thinking, what just happened there? This is just a little extra. We'll come back to this much. We'll come back to why this is that later. I think I have mentioned it here and there. Um, when you want to get make a negative, get rid of the negative sign for the exponent, you just put it under one. It's called a reciprocal. You're flipping it because really this is any number is as a fraction is over one. So when you flip it, you get this. The flip is called a reciprocal. Okay, here um, the new trick. Remember the, the everything inside the brackets gets squared. So you have a squared over five squared, and five squared is. 25. That's it. Here, everything gets squared inside the brackets. You have x squared over y squared. Nothing you can do about that. Nothing else you can say. That's it. Done. The answer's finished. Okay. What if you had a little triple play action here? Power 8 over 6 to the power 5 times 6 to the power 2. Let's first simplify this ugly thing by taking care of the, the bottom. You have 6 to the power 5 times 6 to the power 2. That's just using our exponent trick, the first one. We're going to add these two together. So you get 6 to the power 8 over this, which is 6 to the power 5 plus 2, 7. And now we have a simple same base dividing. We're going to subtract these two numbers. 8 minus 7 is 1. 6 to the power 1, which, of course, you can just write as just 6. Okay, so simplify first, and then when you simplified it, then you've got a nice easy question from like the ones you had above, and it's easy to do. Okay, so here we have some negative bases, and this rule is the same with negative bases. It's just who cares about the base? The base is the same. The base never changes in any of these things. Um, so it's negative. It's x. It's y. It's a shoe. It doesn't matter. Negative 5 squared times negative 5 to the power 4. We're going to add these two exponents. Forget about the negative sign. Don't get over too overworked about it. You're just going to add these two exponents. 4 plus 2 is 6. So it's negative 5 to the power 6. Yeah. Divided by negative 5 to the power 2. Same base. You can do the other trick, trick number 2 on this one. You can subtract these two. 6 minus 2 is 4, so the answer becomes negative 5 to the power 4. Done. Okay, now, how about this? With these variables, let's see if you can use the exponent tricks. Remember, if there's nothing in between, it means multiply. So we're going to multiply all these same bases together, and they are the same. So that means we can add these three numbers together. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 3, 12. x to the power 12. Okay, again, don't freak out. Just because there's x's here, it's the same thing. Same bases. We're multiplying. Remember multiplying because there's nothing in between? That means multiply. You're going to add these two numbers together which gives you 10 and then let's bring in that x cubed so you have x to the power 10 divided by x to the power 3 you're going to subtract these two numbers you get x to the power 7 
All right, let's step it up here. Power to a power and multiplying. This is, this looks looks ugly, just, but just relax, just relax. This is a power to a power. You know what to do there. You're going to multiply. That's another power to a power. You're going to multiply. So let's do that first. Let's get rid of these brackets. They bug us. So I'm going to rewrite it on this side here. This becomes n to the power 8. And this here becomes n to the power 15. And we just have that n to the power 6 there. Okay, now what do we have? Well, it's just like that question just above. Nothing in between. That means we're multiplying here. And the rule is when you're multiplying bases that are the same, you add the exponents. 8 plus 15, 23, plus 6 is 29, n to the power 29. Done. Finished. Okay, how about this? This is getting good. Okay, so, again, don't you don't freak out. You just think, what do I know? I know my rules, I know my exponent rules, and this one I know, a power to a power. We're going to multiply there. That becomes m to the power... 24 and bring down the or put right next to it the m to the power 5. Then on the bottom part you've got that m to the power 4 just bring it over here and you've got this another power to a power you multiply 3 times 5 is 15 so m to the power 15. There's nothing in between so we're gonna multiply. Well, we're not going to actually multiply, but this it means multiply. But when the rule is, when you multiply bases that are the same, you add the exponents. So this becomes m to the power 29, because that plus that is 29, over that plus that, which is 19. And now it's this. We're dividing. So we're going to subtract these two numbers. 29 minus 19 is m to the power 10. It's a breeze. Okay, last two questions here. This one's a little tricky. When you have, um, just like you had in that fraction trick, uh, the trick number four, the, the exponent gets delivered to each of the things inside the brackets. And so what we have here is we have a power to a power. So for sure, that's going to be to the power 6. But we also have to deal with that 5. That 5 is also getting squared as well. So this becomes 25. And then the n has the power 3 times it by 2, n to the power 6. OK, so that's getting squared. And the n cubed is also getting squared. Same thing here. Uh, the 3 is going to square that and that. So that powers to that power. And when you do that, you're going to multiply those two. That gives you x to the power 12. And that is another power to a power. You're going to multiply these two. x to the power 15. We're dividing now, so then we're going to use the subtraction. 12 minus 15 is not 3. You have 12, you lose 15, you're negative 3. So it's x to the negative 3. And as I mentioned before, if you want, and later on we, we, I will demand that you do this, but when you have a negative exponent, the way that you can write it to get rid of that negative exponent, because people don't, don't like it sometimes, is you flip this whole thing. Where this as a fraction is over 1. Any number as a fraction is over 1. You flip it, so the 1 goes on top. And then when you do that, you get x to the power 3. Written like that. Either You know what, For the, at this point, either way is good. And you don't have to put it over 1. That's good there. All right, here's your questions right there. Boom, boom. That's it. Bye-bye.